I'm Julie Wasma. Um, I'm a writer. Um, I'm also a campaigner with East Kent Against Fracking and also Mothers Against Fracking. We're right outside Downing Street at, at the moment to deliver with Gazer Frackman um, a letter which was signed by 205 um, anti-fracking campaign groups that are all dotted all over the country. Um, and it was also signed by Bianca Jagger, who commissioned a report which is calling for a moratorium on fracking on human rights grounds. These people do not accept fracking in this country, and they're going to make sure that David Cameron listens to us. If he doesn't listen now, he'll have to listen at the next election. My name is Geza Fratman. I'm a resident of Lytham. I've been an anti-fracking campaigner now for three years. I'm a children's entertainer and DJ, I'm a children's entertainer, so I feel like I'm protecting those children. It's personal to me. Human rights are potentially um, at risk with fracking. That's what the report's all about. It's calling for a moratorium in the UK on human rights grounds. They're all about profit. They're all about, you know, uh, the boys club, the eating group. It's and in uh, contracts, it's and in uh, business to these corporations and their buddies because this is a carbon coated government that we've got here. And a point that's, that's been made very well by Talk Fracking is that there is a, a democratic deficit in this country on the issue of fracking. We did not vote for fracking. No one in this country voted for fracking. Most of the law, House of Lords, most of these, the MPs in here have got connections with the banks and with the oil and gas companies. I'd really like to see this government re-examine its overriding commitment to shale and to fracking in this country and to have the courage um, and the humility to say that they got it wrong and that this is a mistake for this country.